Hey, what's going on, guys? What's Nigga Magic here? Well, guys, first off, I want to say thank you. You may be asking yourself, why is he saying thank you? I just came to watch a video. Well, guys, I'm saying thank you because I just hit 1 million video views on YouTube, and that's incredible. It's ridiculous. Uh, and obviously, if you guys weren't watching, it would not be that high. And I want to say thank you for watching. And if you guys aren't sick and tired of hearing my voice yet, you can go ahead, click the link, and subscribe to my new channel, uh, Playing Cards 101. Uh, I'll be doing deck reviews there. Um, you know, the link's in the description if you're on a mobile device. I know I have a lot of mobile viewers. Uh, you can subscribe to that channel if you want to see deck reviews and all the cool decks that I'm using. All right? right now, there's only two videos on there. You can enjoy those if you'd like. Um, but let's get into this uh, neat little thing that I'm doing right now. Uh, what I'm doing is, is showing you a neat way of obtaining a key card. I know a lot of you probably already know what that is uh, because you're just that smart and uh, you've been watching my videos maybe for a while. But let me tell all the newbies there uh, what a key card is. Let me show you a classic trick that uses a key card. Would you call out stop for me? Okay, right there. Take a peek at your card. They look at the card. I don't know what it is, actually. Uh, and while they're looking at the card, you're looking at the bottom card of the other packet, which is the Queen of Diamonds. So then, when I close this up, I know the Queen of Diamonds is going right on top of their selection. So that I can do wave my hands. And all I do is I look for the Queen of Diamonds. All right, right when I see the Queen of Diamonds, I know their selection is a Three of Hearts because that's the card right below it. All right, and that's um, pretty much what a key card is. All right. So, let me show you my new way of obtaining a key card. Because after all, guys, if you show somebody uh, a bunch of card tricks, they're, they're going to catch you on to things. They're going to catch you on how you, um, how you control cards, uh, how you get key cards, anything. All right? Uh, so, I'm always trying to think of new ways. And here's one thing that I, uh, I really like. Spectre is going to select a card. Let's say it's a three of hearts. Uh, you're going to shuffle it in the middle of the pack. All right? Uh, actually, right now, y you controlled it to the top. That's um, a must. And after a shuffle, oh, that's all it takes, guys. I know the spectator's three of hearts is right below the jack of clubs. And if I go through, I will find the jack of clubs right here, and right below it is the three of hearts, a spectator selection. Now, how did I do that? It was very simple. It was more simple than you think. Uh, let me teach it to you. Spectator's going to select a card, any card they want. This is just one example. There's millions of ways, uh, millions of tricks to do with this, all right? Uh, Spectator's going to select a card. It is the jack of spades. You're going to make it look like it's in the center of the pack. Uh, you're going to control it to the top. Maybe you'll do a little table cut. Um, and voila, it's controlled to the top. Now, what you're going to do is a makeshift pharaoh shuffle. Don't run away. I know. Whenever I say a pharaoh shuffle, you guys all scream, yell, you run away. But don't worry, guys. All right? This one, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're going to need to do is be able to weave 16 cards or so into the pack. So off the top of the deck, you're going to take off about 16 cards. All right? You can see the size difference there quite significant. So about 16 cards, all right, the spectator selection is going to be on top of this because you controlled it to the top. You're going to weave these cards into the bottom of the pack, just like that, voila. It's not perfect. For some reason, the nine of clubs is sticking face up. I'm going to change that. Uh, so now you have all these cards weaved in. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if I didn't say before, you're weaving it into the bottom portion of the deck, not the top, the bottom. All right, now let me talk about what we have. We have the spectator selection on the top of the pharaoh. Uh, on top of the spectator selection, we're going to have uh, a good amount of cards that have nothing weaved into them. All right, so they're just plain. They're just here for the ride. Uh, and this is very significant. This is for, this is going to be how we're going to get our key card. Uh, right now, this packet, if you were to do a cascade or some people call it a bridge, um, after, in your pharaoh shuffle, um, what's going to happen is this packet is going to fall first um, when you do the cascade. Let me show you what a little uh, bridge is real fast. You're going to shuffle, and the bridge is this, letting the cards fall, all right? Um, and you'll notice that because this packet is so large and so big, it's going to fall first when you do your cascade. It's something you're going to have to try to really see, uh, but when you do this, guys, you, you'll see it works. Um, so here we are. 
right here we're going to start our cascade and right when I start it that packet on the bottom drops and I can see the ace of diamonds is on top here so I haven't even started my shuffle and I see that packet has dropped I'm looking through my thumb and I see the ace of diamonds so when I do the shuffle I know that if I were to go through and find the spectator selection uh, the ace of diamonds is right above it it's that simple guys it just has to do with the shuffle now this can also do you can also do with the riffle shuffle because I know you all hate the the, the Pharaoh shuffle so it's, it's the same exact thing they're going to select a card six of diamonds you're going to take 16 cards or so you're going to shuffle them you're going to have a large packet on top and now I like to use the excuse I'm squaring up the deck and as I'm doing this when I go like that I can catch the glimpse of the card, all right? Uh, it's that simple, all right? It's that easy, all right? And um, one thing that I recommend is you're going to have to really test this out to try, all right? Uh, it's going to be easier to do this if, you, if you, your hands are big enough to do a shuffle one-handed, all right? But if you're not, if you don't have hands that large, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. All you're going to need to do is tilt the deck up um, slightly more when you're doing a bridge. So right here, you'd have to tilt it up more when you're bringing the cards down, all right? But trust me, guys, everybody will be able to do this. Um, I, I'm positive. I'm sure if you guys just practice this, you'll get it down. You're going to have to be quick in order to glimpse the card, all right, when the packet drops down. All right, once again, that large packet that has nothing... Uh, Pharaoh shuffled or just shuffled into it is going to drop down first and you're looking for the card that's on the face of that large pack. In this case, it would be it'd be the Joker. All right. So that's how it's done, guys. It's simple, guys. I really think uh, you guys will be able to get this if you uh, if you practice enough. All right. Um, so that's about it, guys. Uh, once again, you could subscribe to my second channel uh, if you're not tired of me already. Uh, click here in the middle of the video for a mystery video. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember, I'll be back.